welcome back. And as you know, um, as part of our discussion, we will be concluding uh, the discussion today on the NPP's uh, annual national annual delegates conference in Cape Coast. We'll be concluding it on that. We understand that the president has arrived at the at the conference venue, but of course things will begin. Uh, to start in NS at the conference venue later on and not now. And we'll get there and we'll bring you what is going on there. Joy is going to give you some compre comprehensive coverage that uh, you can't miss. So stay tuned. We want to deal with these uh, other matters first. Now, I'd like to start with uh, Roxon. Um, it, it was deliberate to have you know, the tech guy, an expert, to, to come in to help to assist all of us to see if we have a faulty appreciation of what is going on and to also have the former DG also come and try to explain so that we are better informed in discussing the issue. They've uh, treated us to close to one hour of explanations. Indeed. Take it from there. Now, I, my initial uh, sensibilities that were scandalizing the matter had been assuaged by the submissions made by Solom. Solom indeed made the point that what we are looking at is, is much more than means the eye. It's really a system that has been introduced as that's supposed to revolutionize the way they work. And it is costly. Uh, we didn't appreciate the point when the story broke. I didn't appreciate the fact that um, a software, that was the impression in the streets. Mm. So it is very important that the explanations are made to drive home the point that it is beyond software. It is beyond, for instance, like Tally, an accounting software. You put it on your laptop and you are off you go with your accounting problems. No. But you see, when I heard my own senior and our senior, um, Ernest, I think, I think he, must, he must come again. Because you see, this is a matter that has scandalized Snit. And so the perspectives that he, 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 he puts on the matter from the, from the policy angle, it must be sharp. Why? If we think that Snit, until the introduction of this system, IT system, we're doing things manually, mm. and so it was costly. We could have piloted it. At the pilot phase, it, the teaching problems of the, of the program would have emerged. Then you, you, you would have been in a better position to appreciate it and see how, when it is brought mainstream, the cost implication involved, and whether indeed you must do it or not. Now. You have brought a system that is supposed to revamp the way you operate. And the cost kept multiplying. And we are saying that because the agreement says so. No. You see, this is like he himself said. Anytime you touch pensioners' money anywhere in the world, you touch people's novel. Especially when they are paid uh, peanuts. peanuts. In this I agree. Whether, whether, whether peanuts giving, or not. Whether I, peanuts. I was listening to yes. one of them yesterday, and uh, he's worked for how many years? And he's taking home uh, less than 400 Ghana CDs a month. And he says he buys paracetamol for how much, and how much is left. Very sad. I agree. So it, it, it's not, and this is not politics. And he wants to bringing politics about the new board. I, I am not in favor of the way the new board has handled the matter. Because, for instance, you are giving another entity half a million dollars to go and look for problems. It's another wastage. But I am saying that the system could have been piloted, first of all. Now, he speaks of the, 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 the opinion preferred by another senior of us, uh, uh, Orleans Lindsay. Now, if the administration at the time determines that the set of facts that confronted Lindsay for him to prefer his opinion, which he says that he did so within 24 hours because it came under 
I think and the agent circumstances. So you are familiar with uh, I am. what I'm talking yes. about? Yes. Okay. I'm familiar with their opinion. Mm. Now, if Olin says that I did so within 24 hours, and this is my legal position, because you see, you don't ask for legal opinions or due diligence on a matter for nothing. It is for a reason. You are saying that from the legal perspective, would I be in the wrong if I touch this matter? So give me an opinion. So as the lawyer says, no, Senate, you can't do that. What was the opinion about? The opinion was as to whether or not, amongst others, mm -hmm. to determine whether if, if the... They sign that if they execute the agreement, the executed agreement. Execution means sign it. It's yes. Sign. The executed agreement, mm. the, the effect, the date that was supposed to take effect. All right? Mm -hmm. And another officer, he, in order for him to be, be, be on terra firma, you know, on, on strong grounds in the matter, he referred he refer to another, another colleague who is a senior person, but who is an IT person. And he explained that the program had been, had been operating at SNIT, or the program had been introduced at SNIT as far back as 2014, a certain date, I've forgotten. So at the point he was, he was preferring that opinion was about two years or thereabout. And so because, because of that very fact, it was okay for him to go ahead and, and advise that SNIT could go ahead and, ma and make the validity or the effect of the agreement go back into time, two years. But he was looking at the cost implications, and the cost implication was that if we do that, it means we'll be paying $2 million a year for hosting that system. Mm. And he Instead ate, of how much? Instead of, hold on. Mm. And he was of the opinion that as far as the set of facts that confront him in the matter, the, the SNIT had hosted the system for only nine months. Yes, the service provided yes. was for only nine months. For, for only nine months. And therefore, it will be prudent to rather make the effective date of the agreement nine months back into time. So he said the, 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 the reasons given by his other colleague, even though it, it was supposed to be a reason that was supposed to convince him, he was unpersuaded. Those were his language, unpersuaded. But the implication again is that it means we'll lose $4 million cool if we were to agree that the contract took effect from two years back. And he thought that it was, it was unconscionable. But he said that this is my position. But my boss, if you okay me, if you okay it, I will abide by it. You know, as lawyers, he, he places a caveat there. He said he was, un, he was unwilling to do so yes. unless yes. the superior has said, this is what I think he says do. DG. He mm. said so. Yeah. I think he uses the DG, so director right. general. Mm. But now my, my senior brother, Mr. Thompson, is saying he, he never... He said he was unaware of it. Yes. Mm. He never saw the memo until later. So when the lawyer was saying, if the DG okay, I will abide by it, who was the DG at the time? And DG is an acronym. For me, within the context, it means the, the, the Director General. Mm. So I am saying that these are matters that, look, now the, 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 literate, the literate percentage of the Ghanaian population is increasing very, very fast. We are saying that a lot of graduates are out without jobs. It doesn't mean they don't understand the issues. They appreciate the issues. So when we are explaining our positions, I believe that we should do so with care. Mm. Now, they go ahead and... and no, no, but he, he, had written to, he had written to the general manager, GCD. I agree. Right. General manager slash GCD, right? R right. Okay. Mm. So not DG. So, okay. so I stand to be correct. Right. Mm. Now, if the, the, the former DG is saying that at the time... Collins Lindsay was preferring this legal opinion. The, the set of facts that confronted him had since been amended. Did management refer this, the new set of facts available to him and see whether or not his position, his legal position on the okay. matter will change? Because you see, this, these things, they will go into the records. And like we are discussing today, we are faulting Smith for ignoring this, this legal opinion, first of all. I have, I'm a member of the NDC, and this thing happened under the NDC, but 
any person who is found to have been culpable in the matter, let the law take his draw markers. Right. The small point I want to make mm. is that now we have been told that PPA has also procured almost a hundred million a uh, 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 hundred million worth of a similar software or similar program. So are we receiving value for money in these matters? Or the IT companies that are, that are seeking to help modernize our operational, administrative and operational systems in this country, are they, are they fleecing us off? It's a point that we must look at. From, from what we understand, the reference to the PPA is completely erroneous and is seeking to be used to justify the SNES situation. Not at all. Because it's a different ball game altogether. And in fact, the amount involved is not the $100 uh, million dollars that has been referred 97. to. It's 97. 97 is what has been reported. And 97 is almost 100 million. So I don't want us to believe. I am only saying that tomorrow we will not be questioning whether or not we have received value for money in that contract as well. Okay. Even though it's a bank, it's a World Bank funded program, Ghana will pay for it anyway. So all I am saying is that in, 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 in processes like this, we should be careful how we, we expend the public purse. Thank you. And uh, Susan, <laughs> well, sorry, sorry I've held you on for so long and I saw you were itching to <laughs> have the opportunity to have your bite. Um, generally, what would be your comments? Well, I mean, speaking as an ordinary um, Ghanaian, I think, you know, um, the whole thing is murky. There is no clarity um, for anybody to say, this is actually, this is what happened, and this is why we've, because there are slightly conflicting stories, you know. <clears throat> The former um, DG is justifying that, well, um, 72 is a, it was a matter of course that it's something that has happened. The present DG is saying that, well, I mean, um, they think that whatever that was acquired is not working mm. and that he's working with the vendors to ensure that it works at a minimal cost and no, or no extra cost. Now, <coughs> those are two conf conflicting um, stories. And um, yes, you know, the former director said, any amendments that will be made, we will continue to pay for it. You, you wonder, then where will it end? Mm. I mean, is it worth it? You may have something that is working, but at what cost? Is it a, a, a cost that, um, a, a, you know, that gives value for whatever it, that is working? It's the fact that something works doesn't necessarily mean that the price in which you paid for it is, is, is right. So... We, we, we really need to, to, to look at that. We, you, you know, um, I, I think that, like the tech person said, a lot of the project management leaves um, much to be desired. Yeah. Because when you, um, what do the management people talk? Plan, do, correct, act. Uh, they talk about that, that cycle. You plan something, you start doing it, you look at it, you correct it, and then you act again so that you can have efficiency. So that you, you, it, you, you, it's not just a matter of spending money because the money is there, even if, even if the money um, was there to be spent, you know. And so we, we ought to plan long term. SNIT is not uh, a fly-by-night sort of um, um, company. It's, it's something that is there to stay. It's something that we are all mandated you know, to pay uh, our, 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 our monies to. And so they have an extra responsibility not to, 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 to uh, how would I put it, use our money frivolously and plan 15, 20 years ahead. I mean, because if you say, oh, as the amendments go, we're going to uh, pay. And so, you know, um, the money that the something that ballooned from 26 um, six. and ends up at 72 and we don't know where when it will end, mm. that doesn't make sense to the average Ghanaian. I mean, I look at it and said, really? Because even for our own private lives, we don't plan that way. You mm. want a project, you want that project to function, you must have some end point in which you say, okay, at this point in time, this makes sense, and then I will do it. So in 10 years, our scope may change, but whatever it is, 
Will it last us for 10 years? Mm -hmm. When in 10 years our scope changes, we know there's another expense. But we're not going to do something when our scope will change in three months and our scope will change in six months and mm -hmm. our scope will change. Mm -hmm. Really? I mean, who does that? Because you must plan for a, a, so that your scope is not changing all the time. And then, then you, you, we're going back and forth and paying. It's as if we have some uh, bottomless pit we can put our fingers in mm. and take money at any time uh, because our scope has changed three months down the line. Let's go into that bottomless pit and, and pick money and, and throw at it. Okay, um, a year down the line, our scope has changed again, so we're going and we're picking. I mean, is that how we want our, 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 our social security to be run? So I, 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 I think that it's a cause for concern mm. because it may not just be the only thing that is going wrong in SNIT. Right. It may, it, this may just be a symptom of some larger disease that, 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 that is there. And we, we, it, it, it's, uh, I mean, um, people's lives are at stake. I mean, people work hard um, uh, you know, and they expect that in their retirement years, they, 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 they have a, a, a nest egg or a, a fallback situation. And then As we you, understand, you, you, you the IOKU has invited 15 persons uh, who have, you know, connected to this. There are those who also suggest that <coughs> beyond whoever is being invited, they should be looking at the, the board because these were matters that were Definitely. matters before the board and for approval. I mean. They should be looking at the board also and to make some board members also take some responsibility or liability they because in this country, it does appear as if getting onto a board means there are no responsibilities. Absolutely. I agree with you. I mean, I have heard, and I, I, uh, I, I would hope that, um, you know, um, it's true, that uh, Professor Alabi says that, well, when they came initially with a certain amount and they approved it, and then they, 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 they went ahead to, to spend it without the approval, and they queried it, and it came back, and yet then it was allowed to continue. So you wonder, because on that board you have four people from organized labor, and organized labor is supposed to be taken care of. You have the employers uh, um, there. You have um, um, uh, the security okay. service. You know, or you have all those people there who are supposed to be um, from a certain sector that are, are you know, important stakeholders mm. in, 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 in employment and, 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 and labor. And yet they queried it and allowed it to go on. But they say, okay, we've created it. It has gone on. Where is the end point? You know, so definitely I would uh, um, feel that, yes, the board has something to answer to. Of course, the, um, the employees who um, um, executed it, the EOCO ought to investigate to see whether it was just negligence or it was a genuine mistake or a ge genuine lack of understanding of, um, um, you know, Prudent <coughs> use of our money. Pro Professor Joshua yeah. Alabi, uh, yeah. that you referred mm. to, says, among other things, and this is his own writing, that it is unfortunate to expect that a contract which has been awarded and was being implemented for which earlier payments have been done before our board took over would be discontinued. A phenomenon which only reflects lack of management, maturity, and sense and sensibility, a trend creeping into and becoming entrenched in Ghanaian political leadership and governance. Such actions could incur judgment debt. No, nobody's saying that. So the fear of judgment debt appears to allow people, like to you allow said, things to, continue. to say, no, rather but, continue no, than to that, stop it. No. I mean, judgment debts will be paid anyway, but and you can just there may be some judgment debt that may be justifiable, right? You know, because if you're going to look at the cost in the end and say, well, I might as well just cut my losses right here, pay the judgment debt, then go on with it. So it's it's, it's nobody saying um, a new board comes and they throw everything aboard. When a new board comes, obviously you must sit, you must evaluate. You must look at the signposts that were put there for that particular project to say, are we achieving the project at the cost that we said we, we were? And that even if it is three years down the line, we will achieve the project at the cost that we projected, or it will be way too much for us, and then we need to adjust along the line. Mm. Why do we do corrective action? I mean, what are boards there to do, but not to corrective action, to look at things, the vision that they put there, the people that are executing the vision, are, are they getting the vision the way it, it ought to be? Nobody's asking that 
oh, a new board comes, throw it away, start again. No, that's, I don't think that is it. But we are asking that the proper evaluation of programs be done, mm. you know, and done in, 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 in such a way that we, we, we get value for money. Okay. So, I mean, I, I think that <laughs> the, the specter of judgment that mm. should not, um, you know, be hanging over our heads such that then things are allowed to, to, to go on mm. and, and, and the ordinary taxpayer then is, is at, the, at the mercy yeah. of Doc, it all. Yeah, Doc, what, what do you have to say? And uh, I'll say apologies. We understand that a part of the interview with N.S. Thompson was truncated on, the, on radio. Um, I understand that, uh, you know, efforts are being made to make it available to all of you who missed that portion. So thank you very much and uh, sorry about what happened. Yes, Doc. <coughs> Uh, well, let me say uh, good morning to your cherished viewers and, and listeners and uh, to my uh, colleagues. I think this is the first time that I've been on this uh, mm. platform, and I must say I'm quite honored to be on such a flagship uh, so I program. I thought I had you before. I didn't uh, you not, not on okay. your program. Mm. I mean, I've been on Joy News a couple of times. Right. But right. I think, uh, Samson, this issue is quite a complicated issue. And I'll start by saying that uh, we need to be extremely cautious not to run to conclusion or to pass a judgment that uh, there's some kind of malfeasance that has been done in the sense that... Uh, when your country is going around agree. the world borrowing a million agree. dollars I agree. and, and you have a state institution that can spend 70 plus million dollars, people agree. should agree. be worried. Of course, I'm not saying, I'm not saying we shouldn't be worried, mm. but uh, in the first place, how did this case even come up? How did this news break up? Because uh, the new the new uh, board chairman. Yes. Uh, yes. No, no, new DG. The new DG and the board chairman. Well, all I, of yeah, us. There was, there was the, the current board. Yeah. The current what, board. What, what, I think it needs to be placed in context. This contract was signed somewhere in 2012. From 2012 to 2016, if you listen to the narrative, there have been some payments that have been going on, and by all indications, uh, what was happening based on what we have been told today. Uh, was a wrong thing that was being done. There was a press conference organized by the new board, chaired by Dr. Tokofo, and specifically, the press conference did not even center on malfeasance no. going on in SNET. Yeah. The press conference was more or less an overhaul that needed to be done at SNET, where Pricewaterhouse Coopers was what, being contracted to more or less do an um, evaluation of SNET, such that there could be some form of objectivity and some form of, uh, let's say, efficiency within SNET. And within that press conference, we are being told that, look, a certain software is being purchased at a cost of, what, $66 million. I think it is very instructive, instructive in the sense that, look, we are not looking at just $66 million which is being spent, but we are looking at an amount of money coming from a very important sector of our economy, pensions. Go to most advanced countries, we are talking of Pensions being the bane of development. <laughs> because on average, if you talk of somebody getting to a job at the age of 25 years, you have 35 years of your mm. income. Mm. That is, so it is a secure... There are some people who take their pension and come to Ghana yes. to find a way to invest. To, to invest. invest. Sure, to invest. yes. Ghanian, so, Ghanian so, uh, retirees cannot mm. say say. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so I think the issue okay, is that. more complicated and bigger than... Miss uh, the eye. Just I what we are talking mm. about. And I make reference to the chronology of events in the sense that from 2012 to 2016, there were oversight bodies. Mm. The Public Accounts <laughs> Committee, we have Parliament, we have minority, even uh, the gentleman that you spoke to from Imani. Mm. Imani has, what were they doing? What was the board doing? Imani has had issues complaining Agreed. about snakes, but yes. not about this. Project. Agreed. So why is it that it is now coming out? So oh, at the end of the day, what it means is that we as a society have part of the blame to ourselves because it meant that we didn't do the oversight properly. That said, who didn't do oversight oh, properly? Well, when I say oversight properly, you say saying, we as a society. We as a society had a responsibility to bring some of mm -mm. these things up. Mm -mm. Today, as we are speaking, mm -hmm. we are talking of what a new board that has on earth this wrong that has been happening since 2012. If you remember. 2012, 2013, 2014, payments were being made. Are you with me? Sam? But no, no, let me, let me land. Let me land. I mean, most of us live on blind faith. Yeah, yeah, I pay my pension. Agreed, I expect agreed, that agreed. you look the, after the, it as well. Let, let, let's, let, we, 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 
You see, most of these things that happen, the reason why people are able to get away with it is because there is not proper oversight. People are not held accountable for their actions. You made reference to Professor Alabi. When Professor Alabi's, uh, what do they call it, uh, 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 board came into being, they raised queries. I mean, they raised suspicion that something was not done right. So what did they do? Just raising query is not enough. The argument that I'm trying to make here is this whole malfeasance should not be personalized. It should not be seen as an act by an individual, but as an act by a collective group of people who were vested with some responsibility. The and they what? They renegade on it. It's very, very important. This thing is not about Ernest Thompson. Ernest Thompson works under, under somebody. Of course, Ernest Thompson could have done something wrong. But in any case, I haven't even gotten to the conclusion that he's wrong. Mm. In any, in, 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 aside all this, have we heard anything from even the board chairman? During the interview with the new MD for uh, 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 SNET, Dr. Trenkra, your host asked him a specific question that Yoko is investigating SNET. What is the investigation based on? He did not specifically say that they were investigating this issue. He said he has been subpoenaed a number of times. So even he himself. he himself, a number of times on this issue. So even on this particular issue, we do not know specifically if an investigation is going on. Again, when you listen to the new DJ, the new director general, his concern with regards to this whole issue is not even about the cost of it. Listen to what he says. He says that the last time a number was communicated to me, the number stood at 72 million Ghana dollars. But I can tell you that the system is still not functioning as it should. The system is still not functioning what? As, it, as should. it should. So his concern is that the system is not functioning as it should function. Yeah. So let's play the devil's advocate. But he sounds appalled at the, at the amount involved as well. Nobody is debating that. Nobody is debating that. But what I'm saying is that people have been vested with responsibilities. We have a new board. We have a, a, what's his name? a new director general. You listen to the board chairman. The board chairman is saying that, look, and even if you listen to all the news reportage, the news reportage is that an amount of $66 million have been invested in a project which is not functioning. Right. That is the reportage. Mm. The reportage is not that. An amount of money has been invested in a project which has been what? Over bloated. If the case is that, look, this project should not cost this much in the first place, even if it is functioning well, that is a different situation. So I, will, I, will, I conclude on this issue. Look, we have bodies that are responsible for what? For investigation. I think if there's anybody that needs to investigate this issue, it needs to do that in the proper way. And whoever is held responsible or whoever has faulted, that person must be brought to book. Most often, and especially within the spectrum of what has been going on, we hear all these accusations that are what? That are bundled around. But unfortunately, nothing happens. I'll give you a typical example. If you remember, there was this accusation by the uh, Minister for Information, uh, what Mustafa Hamid, that certain uh, gadgets were being procured from Israel, and the deputy uh, 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 security advisor, one Osman, had run out. Today, what has happened? Have we heard anything? I don't want this to be one of those. If there's a prima facie case established mm -hmm. against anybody who has done anything wrong, that person needs to be what? needs to be prosecuted, he must be taken to the law court. And if he's found guilty, he needs to be put to jail. And I think in as much as this is an unfortunate situation, it also gives us an opportunity to what? To seriously take a look at the whole concept of pension. Mm. You interviewed the former uh, uh, director for NPR, where he made a proposal that should pension be, should be scrapped. I, I totally disagree. No, no, he said the agency. The agency or whatever, the yeah, agency. Totally I, I totally disagree with him. And of course, I mean, this has given us the opportunity to what? To debate it. Because even when you spoke to Selom, Selom did indicate that, look, this software that they are talking about, even though the price is over bloated, he thinks that it has some benefits. Yeah. I don't know, they, as I far as he is concerned, yeah. <clears throat> and you know, Selom is, they've done MPED degree. Sure. And if you know about MPED degree across Africa, parts of the country, yeah. uh, Africa is being used and even beyond uh, Africa. Uh, except that in Ghana, it uh, was developed here, but we are not embracing it ourselves, unfortunately. Um, he, you know, seemed to suggest that the initial original amount might be okay, might be reasonable. 24 million, 34 yes. million dollars. Yes. 
34. The initial amount yeah. was 34 million. Yeah, that, that's but the 26 plus but, the contingency. But, 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 but even yeah. them, even yeah. them, yeah. Uh, even, uh, them. Uh, even them. Let's let's face it. I am a little bit cautious in more or less going hook, crack, and sinker when it comes to some of these experts, their propositions. Because there's also an expert who is in this area who has also proposed that this thing should have cost less than one billion dollars. <laughs> Less than $1 million. There's some experts. Somebody I mean, said that? Yes. I, 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 I have to look for the name. Less than $1 million. But even then, the whole argument that is being made is that, look, this thing is over bloated. Salom is saying it should cost around $10 million. And if you look at the analysis that you did, there was a company in old Peso. Peso was given $3.8 million. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? It means that they do not even know what they were doing. They do not understand. <laughs> they do not understand what and, they were And if you're familiar with uh, tender, tender boats, yes. I mean, I've sat on this one thing, of them. Yeah. And, and Sometimes there are people who are bringing the tenders. They don't clearly, they don't understand, clearly understand what it is. Yeah. They are looking to depend on someone else to assist them sure. to be able to provide yeah. what you need. Sure. So as long as they get the contract, that's all they are interested in. But sometimes they make a mistake, and then they they get a, a contract they are supposed to execute, and they find that they have to come back and ask for top ups. Yes. You know? So 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 it's a complicated exercise. But as I did indicate. I mean, there are two major things when it comes to this issue. Did somebody do something wrong? Did that person intentionally and purposefully what, do that thing wrong? If that person did that, then that person needs to be brought to book. Okay. And that person needs to be prosecuted. That mm. said, I think this whole issue about boards, I think it's of recent that we are hearing board chairman speaking. If you remember Coco yeah. Board, we yeah. had a, 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 the, the board chairman, I, I forgot, to, Hackman, Hackman, Hackman. Hackman speaking. You hear of what is going on on Slate. I mean, ideally, you'd have heard a DJ speaking, but the press conference was being organized. Even PROs. <laughs> so I, I, I think that, look, this is an opportunity for us as an, a country to reevaluate ourselves, even though this is a bad deal mm. uh, beyond all reasonable doubt. But I'm cautious in coming out with a conclusion. Let's look at how this issue can be addressed. If anybody has done anything wrong, that person needs to be brought to book. However, and instructively, we have to look at how these things can be prevented. In okay. So right. a small point. Um, um, we, we, a small point. You, you, you don't have any problem with the, with the process, though, do you? Because they tell us about the benefits it brings. They say that the, the former system thrived on fraud so that there were multiple payment benefits to the same person on different social security numbers resulting from multiple registrations. Kidding? That, yes, that yes. these were happening. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, you see, that is why I said that the, this project could have been piloted. That's why I say that. You see, but you don't know what they tried before they got to this. They, they, they haven't told us. They haven't told us. You're right. Some, in operations research, you you must evaluate the efficiency of a new system vis-a-vis -vis the old one. Mm. Smith is not telling us that this new system, even though. And I spoke to it. Mm. He couldn't give us the cost in terms of the, the, the financial implications that from how we were doing things before, the manual system where it was possible to make double, multiple payments to pensioners vis-a-vis -vis the new system. We are saving on the face of the book so much annually. Then when we compute it, then we know that we, whether we have value for money for, it, for this system or not. He hasn't said so. Now, the small point that you made, when the Auditor General finds no problem with the new system, it will not reflect in their report that will be, that will be issued annually for it to come before the Public Accounts Committee. I must save the Public Accounts Committee from there. If they don't find problem with it, there's no way to engage our attention. That's the point I want to you, make. You said on it. Yes. <laughs> There's no way to engage our attention unless they raise issues with it. There are issues they've raised against Nate, okay. which is right. not about this program. Mm. Then two, the other point I want to make. You need to close the chapter here. I will. The, the other point issue. I want to make mm. is that mm. where within contracts, contract terms are supposed to be respected, like we are being told that the system, some aspect of it is not functioning. Why can't we go to the other party and say the that? Provider. With mm. The provider. The provider. Say that within the terms of the contract, you're supposed to do A, B, C, D. Right. Within this time, right. time frame. Same we are not doing it. Mm. Why is it that, for instance, we are not even suing the, the company? Because, look, if you prosecute people, you won't get your money. That is a criminal prosecution. Unless we are saying that they are found culpable 
And so the Auditor General may now have to surcharge you. But mm -hmm. until we get there, we should now be going against companies, parties that, look, Pacta San Savanda, sanctity of contract must be respected. So if you, if you, if you, if you agree with me, I did them that I'll do A, B, C, D for, for such valuable consideration, and you are failing, I, must, I should be able to sue you. Right. And maybe we should not be paying what we are paying. And, the other, and the, my <laughs> final point yeah. is that we, I don't think we appoint people onto boards to cause havoc. Mm. We must watch that. People get onto boards now. They don't perform the functions of, of their office. They, are, mm. they rather go and create problems for right. us. And, and there are people who are raising issues that uh, there may not have been approval for the subsequent uh, you know, things that develop. And they are attributing that to Professor uh, Alabi. He's saying, you, you haven't heard him say that anywhere. You haven't heard him say that anywhere. Good point. But, um, you know, I think that um, the general public, we become very wary of such things and um, cynical. Because we keep hearing, look, wasn't it GRA that was supposed to have paid for some, was it a software or something, mm -hmm. with some huge, and then the news came Remember that the it wasn't MPA? working. Remember mm -hmm. <laughs> the about a month and ago. And then this one comes again, and people begin to feel as if we're taking for granted. Okay. We pay our money. Look, we, mm -hmm. uh, when you say society, I disagree with you because <laughs> I pay my money in the hope that that civil servant sitting there will do right by and me. That and, and that board who is board working will there, there will, will take our will, interest, will take, into will take interest into consideration. <laughs> and so I cannot be mm. micromanaging my life and theirs and everybody else's who I pay money to. Mm. You know, so well, it, it, not, it, not too it, long it, ago, Andrew Awuni, if you remember him, he went to court to question some things that were happening with SNIT money. He was told that he was a busy body. He should sit. He should sit <laughs> a, no, okay. somewhere. No, okay. He should allow. He should <laughs> allow, allow the, those who, the who, who, who know what they're about to take care of It's his money right. he was paying. But right. you see, look, the tech person had um, raised eyebrows at some of the hardware, mm. and 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 it was able to 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 say that some of the prices for some standard of the hardware, prices. the standard prices, right. were way too high. Mm. Let's hope that it's not true, but we, m most Ghanaians believe that mm. in, in, in the civil services, if I'm supposed to procure this for 10 CDs, mm. I go and see the vendor to make it 15 CDs, <laughs> because the 5 CDs then comes to, you, 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 you get it. Mm. And so, if somebody comes and gives you a price that you know that the standard price is, is this is way beyond. Right. It, it just calls for consent. I even feel it, that some of them could yeah, have been submitted. You see, and some of yes. the things mm. that uh, happen mm. to third parties. I mean, I don't know how it is in, in governmental agreements, but Samson, if I was supposed to sell a shirt to you mm. and it's five CDs and I sell it to you 15 and you go and see it somewhere and say, oh, Susan, the shirt that you, so, you were about to sell to me, I've seen the same shirt somewhere for five CDs. Mm -hmm. Can you reduce yours mm -hmm. to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, you know, yeah. maybe not to the five CDs there. Mm -hmm. Don't we have shops that say, go and find lower prices, and if you find it, mm -hmm. we'll match you. Okay. So in, in our system, right. don't we have a, 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 a way mm -hmm. that a if like a check like mm -hmm. that, where if you went, and you know that an HP server cost a million dollars, mm. and you somebody was selling to you for three million dollars. <laughs> you could say that, look, I've seen it somewhere for three mm. million dollars. I'm mm. in contract with you. Mm. How about you bringing it to an? Okay. Okay. So before, before we then, before yeah, we take the break and return to the next uh, big issue for the week, which was about the seizure of um, uh, uh, trucks and equipments of Exxon, uh, Exxon Cubic, let's go to the phone because Dr. Daniel Sedo has joined us. He's the former chief executive of the MPRA, and he says that he's been misrepresented by Dr. Uh, Jinapo. Oh, oh. Let's, we let's, all understood what he said. Let's, let's, um, you he sought rather to correct Doc. Mm. So oh, let's really? Hear, so let's I was hear, wrong. Let's, no. let's, hear, let's, hear, let's hear Dr. Sedo. Dr. Sedo, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Right. So uh, if you can quickly make the clarification for us, sir. Oh, good morning for the people in the studio and the listeners. Um, I think the case I was making needs to be interrogated, not dismissed. There is a purpose for which this was established. There was a challenge where pensioners were being paid without funding. Government was not making provision or setting money aside to make payments. Mm. So the decision to set up SNIT was to have some money set aside and well invested 
and so that when people are going on pension, there's money to pay them. But in setting up SNIP, the decision was to partially fund it. So SNIP is not fully funded. So what we all get, or what people get when they go on pension, is assumed to be higher than what they've contributed. So there's always a funding gap for SNIP. It's partially funded, not fully funded. Now, what did we do with SNIP? Partially funding was intended that when they get money, those money should be adequately invested. And the cost of running SNIP should be very minimal. Now, when you have it minimal and investments are good, what you will see is that there will be growth and there will be new people who will be employed out of SNIP's investment and out of other people creating jobs, and then there will be joiners. When you have the joiners increasing, their contribution and the investment of same will be enough to support the people who are exiting. That is the process. Now, if you, if you look at what we have done over the years, certain activities have weakened SNIP. One of them is to take 2.5 from SNIP contributions to national health. Then the new reform also took almost like 5% to what we call the tier two. Now, when we did all those things, we didn't reduce the benefit that is going to uh, pensioners. So that process in itself created a strain on SNIP, and we need to appreciate that. Now, what I was proposing is to look at what Nigeria did. Now, if we have studied Nigeria, and we are saying that there's nothing else we can do, then whoever is saying is totally dismissing what I said would have a good case. Mm. Now, what Nigeria did was to say, look, let's privatize. Let's look at the cost of managing pension, which they've reduced drastically. An alternative for us in this country is, assuming I'm 25, I start work, and I decided to put aside 18.5. I put it in a mutual fund, or I tried to invest it on the stock exchange. By 35 years, what would I have? You would have a significant amount. And if you put that in annuity, the pension will be good. So my call is that, look, let's look at the way we do things. Have, have we not made provision for what you just said by the three-tier system of the Provident Fund? Interesting. Now, when we thought SNIP was not doing what it was initially intended for, and we pursued the reform, probably, in my view, what we should have done is to leave only 5% in SNIP and take the 11% to the private sector. Okay. If what I'm thinking is that the private sector could manage our resources better. Mm. That, is, that is what I'm questioning. Okay. And that's what we need to interrogate. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Doc, thank you very much for your time. Uh, but, but just a brief one. Um, does the MPR, MPRA have any role in dictating, as it were, or superintending over how SNITS, you know, goes about spending, you know, uh, pensioners' funds? So, yes. that, so that it could have had any role in this um, project, which cost uh, $72 million. MPRA is supposed to be supervising SNIP. MPRA is supposed to review SNIP's investment. All the activities of uh, SNIP are supposed to be supervised by MPRA. Again, just permit me the little time. Now, I'm talking about Nigeria because Nigeria paid attention to uh, the ass pension, and what it did was, uh, Obasanjo took personal interest, and so the regulatory authority reports directly to the president. Now, if we take our version, we didn't even have a ministry for the National Pensions Regulatory Authority. The act never made provision for that. Mm. So it was an orphan agency. So the muscle to regulate an institution of SNIP was lost. So we have real issues about reform, and there's a need for us to take another look. So please, let's investigate the issues I'm raising. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dr. Daniel Sedo is a former, former, former boss of the MPRA. And uh, yes, let, 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 yeah, I, think, I think it goes back to the issue that I raised that look, uh, the director, former director general or an individual cannot be held responsible for this. There are agencies and bodies that have supervisory what? Right. Responsibilities. Right. MPRA, National, National Pension Regulatory Authority, has direct supervisory authority over that's, what? That's over so. And it works, or it's, it's an the office president. at the office of the president. Mm -hmm. 
You, you understand? Okay. Who even disbursed the money to SNET? Mm. Somebody did the payment. So I think uh, what is going on, investigation needs to be conducted. Okay. There's no doubt about right. it. Right. And Yoko is doing to... that. All right. Um, and, and just to say, the, it, this is something that was open to competitive tendering international. And the current administration, the president says that we are not going to do sole sourcing or single sourcing because they think all of this thing is wrong. Then as we speak, uh, we just intercepted this document which suggests that from uh, it's, it's as, 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 as uh, latest as the 14th of uh, August 2017, the World Bank is complaining about the port terminal project at the Takaradi port, which the World Bank has supported to give on competitive international tendering. And the process has gone on almost to the final point. And they are complaining. It does appear that uh, the new management have come in, terminated the process, and giving the, the, the contract to a single entity through single source. And they are talking about money in excess of five million or five hundred million dollars. So maybe we should take we should take a lot more interest. Where there is competitive tendering and bidding for processes, we have issues. How much more where it is single or so sourced? We'll share some of these details with you through uh, my Joy Online or the Joy News channel. We'll be right back to ask questions and to share with you what um, the company associated with Ibrahim Mahama, president's brother, um, is doing as far as its uh, tracks that have been impounded are concerned.